Silver Exchange Traded Fund or Silver ETF. The main objective of Silver ETF is to track prices of silver. The norm says that, semi norm says that they should invest minimum 95% of investors' money in silver and silver related commodity derivatives such as silver futures, etc. However, there is a limit for investment in silver related commodity derivatives that is maximum of 10 percentage only can be invested in such products okay and uh, silver etf will buy silver in 30 kilogram bars and with 99.9 percentage .9 purity the benchmark is domestic prices of silver derived from prices of silver as declared by london bullion market association okay so we have to convert that price into rupees and we have to add our own taxes so that is the price domestic price of silver against which the performance of silver etf shall be compared okay and ter of silver that is total expense ratio of silver etf including the investment and advisory fees should not exceed one percentage of average daily net assets you have to remember that expenses are calculated on a daily basis and they are reduced from the NAV. Okay. Tracking error for silver ETF may not or should not exceed 2%. So what is tracking error? In simple terms, tracking error is the difference between performance of silver and performance of silver ETF. Say for example, in a particular year, silver has given 30% return. In the same year, silver ETF has given 29% return. So what is the difference? The difference is 1%. So this is known as tracking error. Okay. This tracking error normally comes into picture because there are expenses associated with running a silver ETF. Like uh, they have to pay the auditors and they have to incur expenses like you know uh, while sending statements to investors or they have to incur some banking expenses etc okay so these expenses will pull down the returns okay so what silver delivers that may not be delivered by silver etf there will always be a difference that difference is known as tracking error and as per semi norm this tracking error should be limited within two percent it should not exceed two percent that is return between sorry difference between returns of silver and returns of silver etf should be less than two percentage okay and the nav of silver etf is disclosed on a daily basis you can access the nav from amphi website okay and uh, etf are exchange traded products and hence they are listed on stock exchanges to invest in silver etf DMAT account is compulsory and to know more details about silver ETF we have given the SEBI circular you can note down the circular and you can google it you will find more details silver ETF fund of fund so in the earlier slide we we have seen that DMAT account is compulsory for investing in silver exchange trader fund suppose if an investor uh, doesn't have DMAT account then for such kind of an investor the other option available is fund of fund option here investors will invest in silver fund of fund this silver fund of fund will have a demat account okay so and they will invest the same amount in silver etf silver etf will invest the same in silver so it is a roundabout way suppose if the investor has demat account then what they can do is they can directly invest in silver etf and silver ETF will invest in silver. In case they don't have DMAT account, this is the route they have to take. So they will invest in silver fund of fund. Silver fund of fund in turn will invest in silver ETF. Silver ETF will invest in silver. The drawback uh, in this method is investors have to bear double expenses. They have to bear expense of silver ETF plus expense of silver fund of fund okay and uh, the other features are in case of silver fund of fund we can buy or sell units through amc itself similarly we can start sip systematic investment plan in 
silver fund of fund we can invest as low as 1000 or 2000 monthly or we can invest 5000 or 10000 so whatever uh, the amc says okay so these are some of the advantages okay the drawback is double expenses the advantage is that we need not have any demat account we can directly approach amc and we can buy or sell units and we can start sip and we can invest as low as 1000 or 2000 monthly okay so these are some of the features of silver fund of fund given below is a list of silver etf and silver fund of fund available in the market so avsl means aditya birla sun life okay so please remember that these are not recommendations to invest in silver etf okay and we are you should not take that we are promoting these schemes so if you want to invest in silver etf kindly con consult your mutual fund advisor or uh, investment advisor and invest accordingly